I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. I know I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. But let me just hold your hand once more. All right, trainers, what's going on, everybody? I'm back again with another video, back again with another video, back, back, back again with another video. So when you see this gorgeous and handsome face, might I add, you already know that there's more Pokemon Go info. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that's going to be going on uh, for next month in August. So before I get into today's video, I also am going to let you know about uh, the, the the bonuses that Niantic, because Niantic basically uh, they up the ante and they push the bonuses for for because of the pandemic. So uh, also yeah, I'm gonna put that up on screen so you guys can also check that out. With that being said, guys, we gotta thank Niantic for that because you know what's going on, and everything like that. We got extra bonuses. I think they're gonna might keep pushing it forward or whatever, but either way, the bonuses continue because of what's going on. So. And that's the pandemic I'm talking about, obviously. So, anyway, guys, with that being said, enough rambling. You guys know what I'm talking about. So, with that being said, without further ado, guys, we're not going to jump into this video now. But we're going to jump into this video right now. Let's go. All right, trainers, so basically, if you watched my last video, I talked about a makeup event for Pokemon Go Fest 2020. Now, I wasn't sure of the date and time, but now we have a date and time. So it says, due to technical issues that occurred during some of the hashtag Pokemon Go Fest 2020 habitat blocks, we're holding a global makeup event on August 16th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. local time for all players who purchased a ticket. Now, now remember, you have to have purchased a ticket in order to take part in this three hour event, makeup event for Pokemon Go Fest 2020. If you have not, obviously you cannot participate. So, now with that being said, we're gonna jump into the rest of this video. All right, trainers. So, before I begin, I wanted to let you guys know that in my last video that I mentioned about Magikarp Community Day, I didn't know what the actual uh, move was going to be for Magikarp. I thought it was going to be like Flail or something like that. But it turns out it's going to be actually Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail is the exclusive move for Magikarp, but it only can be learned by Gyarados. So, just want to let you guys know that now we can begin the features for the makeup event for Pokemon Go Fest 2020. So now... Pokemon featured during the water, I'm sorry, the Pokemon Go Fest 2020 Fire, Water, and Friendship habitat, Habitats hours will be appearing in the wild. Now, intents will be more effective at, at attracting the featured Pokemon, and certain featured Pokemon will appear only when attracted by intents. So be sure to use intents to encounter all sorts of Pokemon. There will be a special free box featuring two intents and two remote raid passes. Please note that players can claim this box only if they have fewer than three remote raid passes in their item bag. Gifts open during the event can contain rare candies. Incense activated during the event will last for one hour. Now, I know a lot, a lot of people right now may be salty because they wish they had bought, in a, you know, bought a ticket because they felt like you'll still be able to get some really good spawns if you don't buy a ticket. But stuff like this can happen, which is why you should buy a ticket because it's worth it because you already know... Every Go Fest or any other event like this, it tends to mess up and Niantic does do a makeup. So maybe next time you would think about purchasing a ticket. I just want to point that out. Uh, so yeah, that's not a stab at anybody, but I just want to let you guys know that uh, for next time. So without further ado, let's get into the date and time. Alright, so like I mentioned in the intro, it, uh, the dates are Sunday, August 16th, 2020 from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. local time. Wherever players who purchase a Pokemon Go Fest 2020 ticket are in the world. Three ha different habitats will be featured during this event, each lasting for one hour. 11 a.m. is Fire Habitat, 12 p.m. Water is Habitat, and 1 p.m. is Friendship Habitat. So, thank you for your understanding, and we appreciate your continued passion for Pokemon Go. So, yeah. That's basically it. Uh, so, yeah. So, like I said, you have to have a, a ticket purchased. It starts from 11 a.m. 
on August 16th on Sunday for three hours. It's like a mini uh, community day. Anyhow, Magic Carp's uh, community day move is Aqua Tail. And yeah, so just remember this is what's going on. So, like I said, this video is going to be kind of short. I just want to point this out to you all. Uh, yeah. Oh, one other thing. One other thing. I'm not actually finished yet, so let's jump into one other thing before I wrap this video up. I actually forgot to mention the sole purpose of this video. So, anyhow, August Research Breakthrough Pokemon Spotlight Hours and more. Alright, so it says, Trainers, here's what you can look forward to during the month of August. August Research Breakthrough Encounter. From Saturday, August 1st, 2020 at 1 p.m. to Tuesday, September 1st, 2020 at 1 p.m. PDT. Scraggy, the Shedding Pokemon will be available as a research breakthrough encounter. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Where's the legendaries? This is just how Niantic wants to do it. I guess some people don't have these exclusive Pokemon. They don't spawn out in the wild, and it is hard. Yeah, you can get it from Gold Battle League, but this is what people... Some people that are just coming to the game, they haven't had these Pokemon, so it's kind of hard for them to get it but yeah so now here's their chance to actually obtain this uh remember there's new players come to the game all the time so uh also pokemon spotlight hours in the month of august pokemon spotlight hour will be will take place every tuesday 6 p.m local time and each hour will spotlight a different pokemon and a special bonus so we're going to get into what pokemon is going to be in the spotlight for next month in august all right so tuesday august 4th 2020 horsey will be in the spotlight and you'll earn twice the candy for catching pokemon so horsey can be shiny if you do not have your shiny horsey use this time to track down your shiny horsey so you can get that shiny cedra or kingdra whichever you're trying to go for tuesday august 11 2020 sableye will be in the spotlight and you'll earn twice the candy for transferring pokemon i have one shiny sableye this is a chance to have your second shiny Sableye. Well, it's my chance to have my second shiny Sableye. And maybe some of your first. Tuesday, August 18th, 2020. Venipede. Venipede will be in the spotlight. And you'll earn twice the XP for evolving Pokemon. Venipede cannot be shiny. Its shiny has not dropped. So I don't believe. Just like Weasel. Its shiny has, hasn't dropped. So this way, you, there's no way for you to actually obtain the shiny variant. You can only get... The regular version of Venipi, not the shiny. Tuesday, August 25th, my favorite, 2020, Geodude. Geodude will be in the spotlight and you'll earn twice the Stardust for catching Pokemon. I only have one shiny Geodude. I would like another to get that shiny Golem. So, shiny Golem is an actual pretty good shiny, which I do not have. I do not have shiny Graveler, but I do have shiny Geodude and I got that because of last year's Go Fest. When they had increased spawns. Now we go to the Ultra Unlock, which I was talking about in my last video. All right, so here's basically the Ultra Unlock, like I was talking about yesterday. So basically, this is a refresher course of what's going on. So Dragon Week will run from Friday, July 31st, which is tomorrow, 2020, at 1 p.m. to Friday, August 2020, at 1 p.m. PDT, which means you have to check your time zones. For me and people around me and around my area or close proximity, it starts at 4 p.m. for us. So I guess Niantic is uh, kind of like shifting away from the 8 o'clock in the morning events and going back to the 4 o'clock time zones kind of thing. I don't know if they're going to switch back, but yeah, this is the time for it. Anyhow, the majestic dragon type Pokemon come in all shapes and sizes from the tiny Gibble to the towering Alolan Executor. And this week will be their time to shine. Rayquaza will be in 5-star raids, and Rayquaza can be shiny. And there will also be special time research available only this week. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny Dino, or Dino, how, however you pronounce it. Enigma Week will run from Friday, August 7, 2020 at 1 p.m. PDT to Friday, August 14, 2020 at PD, 1 p.m. PDT. So also, you got to check your time zone for this. And pretty much it's the same as Dragon Week. So 4 p.m. for us, 1 p.m. wherever you are in the world, but you got to check that time zone to see when your event starts. All right, so the featured Pokemon range from the mysterious Elgium to the powerful Deoxys. 
The Oxus will be in five star rays, and if you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny one. You might also encounter a shiny star you. So, those are the two brand new Pokemon, speaking shiny wise and Pokemon wise. Now, Unova Week will run from Friday, August 14, 2020, at 1 p.m. to Friday, August 21st, 2020, at 1 p.m. PDT. Sawaddle, so Cottony, Imaga, and Bufalon. All were originally discovered in the Unova region region will be appearing in the world of Pokemon Go for the very first time. So, always remember too, Bufalant will be appearing in New York City and surrounding areas because that's the, the region it's going to be in. It's region, it must be regionally locked. At least for this event, I know. Genesec will be in 5 star raids and if you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny one. You might also encounter a shiny rock and roller. So these are a lot of shinies uh, for the next couple of weeks or for all of August. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys before I wrap this video up exactly what Pokemon are going to be spawning for these events. Alright, before I begin, I just want to say I apologize for all the cars and noise in the background. Try to, like, block that out and just focus on what I'm letting you guys know. So, here's the increased spawns. You have Alolan Executor, Horsey, Dratini, Trap Pinch, Swablu, Bagon, or Bagon, however you pronounce it and Gibble, which can all be shiny out in the wild. So, this should be a pretty cool event starting tomorrow. Now we're going to get into what Pokemon can hatch from eggs. Alright, so basically, Dratini, Trap Pinch, Swablu, Bagon, Gibble, and Dino can be hatching from eggs. I believe Dino's going to hatch from 10k eggs. They never really mention what eggs is, uh, what Pokemon can be coming from which eggs, but Dino usually hatches from 10 kilometer eggs, and so does Tratini, Trap Pinch. So I'm guessing a 10 kilometer egg, roughly, because most, if not all of these, actually hatch from 10 kilometer eggs. But you never know, it might be a special 2 kilometer egg that they can hatch from like they normally do uh, during events like this. So from raids, it's going to be Rayquaza, Tier 5 raids, and obviously the new shinies is Dino, Zwilus, and Hydreigon. And for some reason, they put it twice here. So the bonuses is going to be time research for two Dino encounters. So hopefully you can actually get your shiny from one of these uh, two Dino or Dino encounters. Alright, now my personal favorite is the increased spawns for the Enigma event, which is the next event after Dragon Week. So Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Staryu, Lunatone, Soul Rock, Ball Toy, Bronzor can all be shiny, except Elgium. Elgium is the new Pokemon that will be released. Uh, as far as Soul Rock and Lunatone, I'm not really sure if it's going to be... I'm not really sure if it's going to be, like, regionally locked or if it's going to be, like, worldwide or if it's just going to be, like, increased spawns in their, in their hemisphere or whatever, but these Pokemon will be spawning somewhere in the world in increased spawns. So, let's get into this. Alright, so... Basically, these Pokemon are going to be hatching from eggs. Cleffa, Igglybuff, Lunatone, Solrock, and Elgium. And Raids, it's going to be Unknown, Bronzong, Claydol, Elgium, and Deoxys. Now, don't forget, Unknown can be shiny now. So, if you do not have Unknown or your shiny Unknown, that's the Raid you want to raid. Now, I don't know if it's going to be in Tier 1. 10 to 1, it probably is. Um... If not, you're going to need people to actually take down Unknown to help you get that shiny or regular Unknown. Whichever one you're going for. Alright, so the new shinies is Deoxys, Staryu, and Starmie. Now, I'm not sure about the bonuses because they didn't mention the bonuses. But it's probably going to be the same bonuses as the Dragon Week. It's probably going to be like that all around for Enigma Week and Unival Week. Speaking of Unova Week, we're going to get into that also right now. Alright, so the new releases for Unova Week, it's Sawaddle, Cottony, Imaga, and Bufalant. Again, Bufalant is regionally locked for, for this event, uh, as far as I know, for just New York City and surrounding areas of the five boroughs. If you want to know that, go back and watch my last video or my video before that, uh, where I talk about um, exactly the five barrels or surrounding areas of New York City. Increased spawns, Sawaddle is going to be out in the wild, Cottonese is going to be out in the wild, Amoga is going to be out in the wild, and Bufalon is going to be out in the wild only in New York City. 
All right, so the, so the Pokemon that's gonna be coming from eggs is Swaddle, Cottony, Emolga, and Bouflon. So actually, you may not need to actually go to New York because they are hatching from eggs, but then again, you might have to get an egg from New York or somewhere from the around, surrounding areas and them five boroughs and get one of those eggs and hatch it. I don't know if you can get it from anywhere you are in the world, but Bouffalant is regionally locked to New York City. But then again, um, for Go Fest, Niantic did, and well, they always release uh, regionally locked Pokemon to a certain event. So this might be your chance to actually hatch Bouffalant if that's what Niantic is doing. Unless, like I said, you have to go to New York to actually get that egg and actually hatch Bouffalant. So, in the Rage, you're going to see Rock and Roller and Genesec. I'm pretty sure Genesec is going to be a Tier 5 Pokemon. Don't forget, it can also be Shiny. Rock and Roller, Boldor, Gigalith, and Genesec. Those are the new Shiny Pokemon that's coming to Pokemon Go for this event. Bonuses, like I said, it's pretty much the same thing as before. So, guys, that's going to wrap this video up. I'm sorry, again, I'm sorry about the background noise. I've been trying to, like, kind of cut out the noise or whatever. But, hopefully, you guys still like this video. Uh, I'm actually sitting on the church steps right now um, Making this video so anyway and this car is flying by so hopefully you, you got something out of this video Hopefully it'll be quiet in my next video So anyway guys with that being said if you like this video make sure you guys like comment sub Share this video wherever you share cool stuff comment down below smack a like on this video Turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my latest videos Make sure you crush the notification bell so you can be first to get my videos when I upload and as always guys peace and love stay blessed stay humble keep your head up and remember to keep God first and with that being said 